Alright, this is mainly a tutorial video um, for Audacity for my friend um, Trebek. I'm gonna flash his uh, YouTube name up on the screen right now. It's gonna be right there somewhere. Um, he was uh, curious about how I slow down my songs, so I'm gonna show you. First off, you're gonna want to get Audacity, one of the best programs for slowing songs and or adding bass to the track. What I usually do is I go here to project, import audio, and then you'll have to search for whichever folder your songs are in and stuff of that nature. We'll try some Chris Brown. I apologize for the frame rate right there, it's pretty screwy. It's going to bring up the track. Sometimes it's in mono, sometimes it's in stereo. In this case, it's in stereo. You're going to go here, up at the top, to effect. And you're going to have a long list of all the things you can do. Bass boosting is um, not recommended unless you know what you're doing. Because that's where you can clip a lot of audio tracks and you'll screw everything up um, volume wise. Go here to change speed. Sometimes I will take it to 17%, and sometimes I even take it to 24%, which is what we'll do right now. That's how you slow it down. Now, for some reason, if you would want to speed it up, just click and drag it the positive way to the right. And that'll change the speed. So I'm sure you've heard the uh, original to this song. If you haven't, I'll bring it up so we can do a comparison. Go up here to File, New, Project, Import Audio, Chris Breezy. Here is the original song so you can get a feel of what this sounds like. In my zone. So that's the original, and here's the version we slowed down. Another cool effect is you can click and highlight a section of the song, go up here to analyze, plot spectrum, and this is where you're going to get a frequency analysis. Um, to find the peak of a song, you're going to want to change um, this bar to 16384, and then change linear frequency to log frequency. Put your cursor over the highest peak, and you're going to get the peak frequency, which is 27 hertz. And uh, that's pretty low, so us bass heads with low tune boxes, we like that stuff. But yeah, this is just a tutorial video. Um, hope it's not too boring. Uh, I'm sure most of you know how to do it, but for anybody who doesn't, you've got a nice way. There's also a program called Virtual DJ, which is exactly what it sounds like. you got two turntables, you can slow them down. Same diffy. Um, <clears throat> to export this, all you would have to do is you can either, you have to go up here to file, and then scroll down through here, and you'll either see it export as WAV or export as E, uh, export as an MP3. Um, so you can do either or. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put it on YouTube right away so you guys can get to slowing your bass. Thanks for watching.